possible fentanyl overdose. There's nothing they can do. He was dead. We're gonna start today's episode off on 29th Street and Chesapeake Avenue. Hey guys, TVG here reporting from Los Angeles, California. As of today's recording, it's December 20th, 2022 at around 7 a.m. Took me about 30 minutes to get here. I'm in a different part of Los Angeles County. Today we're going to be visiting with a celebrity that just recently passed away. This time it's artist Leon Ivey Jr. known as Coolio. One of the biggest rappers of all time. He sold 17 million albums worldwide. He's a poster child of Los Angeles. In 1995, he had a number one hit song, Gangster's Paradise, which was written for a feature film that Michelle Pfeiffer was in called Dangerous Minds. And for a hip hop rapper to cross over and become number one on the Billboard Hot 100 was just unbelievable. He was born on August 1st, 1963, and he died right here, September 28th, 2022, which makes him 59 years old. It's about 90 days ago, 33 months ago, right here. He was visiting his friend up the street, and around 4 p.m., they call 911. When the paramedics got here, they found him dead in the bathroom of a cardiac arrest and he was unresponsive. His, pr his primary residence was in Las Vegas, Nevada, and so he was visiting at the time, even though he's from here. And he, he was at that house, and um, he made an excuse that he, was, he came here to, to fix some passport issues, but I don't believe that story. And to get away from his family in Nevada, and he came here and he went right into that house and knowing that he had a past history, and in the 80s, he's known of using crack cocaine, and it took over Los Angeles, who swept this area, and he got caught up in it. But supposedly he had stopped, and maybe he relapsed. And when you, when you hit the drug, they say you, 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 you take off where you last left off. So maybe he stopped in the 80s, he was a known crack addict in the 80s. He admitted that. Everyone knows that. Maybe he relapsed. It's hard to believe. But as we know, drug addicts sometimes relapse. It's a, possibly, it's a possibility that he was in that house and he was purchasing cocaine and it was laced with fentanyl. That's the crisis right now in America. And he didn't know and it was an accidental overdose. Also, the internet's saying that he just recently was coming out against the Illuminati, and maybe that's why he was killed, but I don't agree with that. He also was known to have asthma, so it is possible that he had a deathly asthma attack, but that's also hard to believe. I don't think the asthma was the cause his son is going around all the talk shows saying that he didn't do drugs anymore. They're saying it was natural causes and that's just hard to believe. His son and his family believe that. He's at 59 years old, how could you die from natural causes, cardiac arrest? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It has to be more. After Coolio's death, he was cremated in a private service and his ashes were put into 
little pieces of jewelry. He has 10 children, so each one, I guess, got a piece of jewelry, and the rest was put in a, uh, an urn, and that was given to his family. And I'm gonna show you the house, but there was a lot of people coming in and out. It's, it's that blue one right there. A lot of unsavory characters coming in and out. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty scary situation over here. He was visiting and he died in their bathroom. If you look over my shoulder, that's the house. It's the blue house right there. And that's where Coolio passed away. Supposedly visiting friends, but since I've been here, there's a lot of unsavory characters coming in and out of that house. And I'm actually pretty scared right now. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking. Or you and your homies might be lying in chalk. I really hate the trip, but I... That's the house, guys. I'm taking a lot of risk right now walking by. I'm gonna tell you, this neighborhood is very sketchy. Very sketchy. Either way, he goes down as one of the greatest rappers of all time. He was before N.W.A. He was before Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Easy E. He was the original OG from Compton. Okay, these are, all those guys copied Coolio. Coolio was the first to make that kind of money, to actually come out of Compton, out of this area in Los Angeles, and make money. So rest in peace to one of the greatest. It's just hard to believe. It doesn't even make any sense. And maybe he's just another tragedy of a fentanyl overdose. It's all over the internet saying it was natural causes, but at 59 years old, who dies of natural causes? I mean, that is just the strangest thing. It's been 90 days and the case is not closed. There's still an open investigation. So that, to me, means the police might have something more. So maybe they know something, you know, that we don't know. The toxicology report and the coroner's report's not released yet either. So something's going on with the investigation. And uh, I think, in my opinion, we're going to find out that it was possibly a overdose an accidental overdose because he wasn't purchasing fentanyl, he was purchasing cocaine. And again, the fentanyl's laced in there and he dies. So they're probably gonna go after the drug dealers, at least federally, in my opinion. Now, don't get mad at me. Opinions, everyone has one. And this is just an opinion, a theory, and an observation based on what I just saw at, at the house and the area. I mean, he, he should not have been in this area, okay? There was no paraphernalia, there's no drugs, it was all cleaned up. And to me, that might be a, a drug house, to be honest with you. Rest in peace. Look at the situation, they got me facing. I can't live a normal life, I was raised by the state. So I gotta be there with the hood team. Too much television watching got me chasing dreams I'm an educated fool with money on my mind Got my tin in my hand and a gleam in my eye I'm a low-out gangster, set tripping banker And my homies is down, so don't arouse my anger Fool, death ain't nothing but a heartbeat away I'm living life do a die. What can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24? The way things are going, I don't know That's gonna do it for today's episode. If you like this video, please give it an old thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel if you're not already and share it with a friend if possible thanks for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one and i'd like to give a couple of shout outs to my favorite youtubers cassidy campbell lamont at large black bigelow and of course last but not least my son and daughter tvg out The money, money and the power, minute after minute, hour after hour, everybody's running, but half of them ain't looking what's going on in the kitchen, but I don't know what's cooking, they say I got to learn, but nobody's here to teach me, if they can't understand it, how can they reach me, I guess they can't, I guess they won't, I guess they front, that's why I know my life is out of luck, fool.